Woo! You know what time it is. Somebody done dropped a new album. So we gonna hit this up. But first, intro. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction bitcha. And yes, yes, y'all. You're probably wondering, yo, that's Jules' channel. What's my man doing on Jules' channel? Well, hey, my man, from what it looks like, has dropped a whole album. Looks like it's called Chapter 6. I believe that's what that number is, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or the fancy and sign or something like that. I don't know. But anyway. My man dropped a new album. We're going to check out the first song that he uploaded. This song is called Color Me Bad. However, he has a video for said song. So we're actually going to hit up the music video and not the audio version. So something that, that, that I noticed because I did look at Jules' channel with all his recent drops. Some songs that have videos, we're going to just react to the video only. Other songs that are just audio only, we're going to react to those as they are. If Jules decides to make videos for those other songs... Then we'll go back, we'll revisit, and we'll check out the video version if that makes any sense. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, till then, let's go ahead and kick things off with Color Me Bad, brought to us by none other than our man, Jewel. And shout out to the homie, Jewel, you know what I mean? He just, uh, he was hanging out on the last, was it the last Upchurch upload? No, I believe it was the Champagne Tundra reaction I did. I want to say that was the one that he showed up for. It was one of my recent uh, Upchurch reactions he showed up for. And shout out to the homie. He hung out throughout the whole stream. or well, the whole premiere, I should say. And uh, just chopping it up with your boy. So, yeah. Joel, if you're watching this, brother, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you for all the love that you've been showing. So, we can go ahead and kick things off once again with Color Me Bad, the official music video. Let me go ahead and <clears throat> go into full screen mode. And without further ado, like the hee hee. Internet trying to play games with me while I'm trying to open up my water bottle so I can get some something to drink, man. I just got done working out. Breath. Just making sure we in that HD quality, and I think we're good. So anyway. <clears throat> Bro, this dude got a whole table with his name on it, man. Let's go. Man, I'm glad I'm not watching this while being high on shrooms because tell me that right there ain't, ain't the stuff of nightmares. Bro, even when you're not high or anything, I mean, that, that that's still creepy ass as fuck that. You, you, you a whole creepy ass for that one. Let's just say that. Ah, who am I kidding? I, I love the horror stuff, so I, I love you for that one. Let's go. coming in hot and quick like um first thing i will say is that i feel like the volume on your vocals is just it's just a little on the low side i think if you raise those up a little bit it would be a lot easier a lot better to hear you but um i don't know let's get more into it I do like the concept of the video since it's called Color Me Bad. He's doing the whole painting thing and everything. And um, yeah, man, uh, the the mix I'm having a little bit of an issue with. Like I said, the vocals I feel like are a little bit low. And um, it, it's hard to kind of understand what he's saying at times too. Because I feel like the mix, it sounds a just a little cloudy. It's a little on the cloudy side and the vocals are a little on the low side. I think if the mix was just a little bit cleaner, 
and the vocals were raised up a little bit, it would be a lot better. Not a fan of that hook either, to be 100%. Um, that hook is a little too basic. I'm just saying. I do like the beat though. The beat de definitely has that horrorcore vibe to it, and that's what I and I like that the visuals here are corresponding with the horrorcore characteristics that this track is giving off. Anyway. tell you though man my man can chop it up with the best of them <laughs> it's hard to keep up but man it, i do love it when, when he gets into that 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 uh that uh chopper spit you know what i'm saying when he gets into that that, that uh chopper bag Alright y'all, so that was Jewel with Color Me Bad, and yeah, hey look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it straight up 100, you know, I, I don't gaslight nobody, I keep it straight up 100 around here, I gotta be honest man, I don't feel like Jewel, if you're watching this bro, honestly, I don't feel like this is one of your best tracks, I've, I've heard you, you know, on tracks leading up to this one, and I feel like your past tracks are far superior than this one. I feel like this one was a little bit of a downgrade, especially with someone of your skill set. Um, I don't know if you switch engineers or if you try mixing the song yourself. Either way, the biggest issue with me is is the mix. Like I said, I feel like the vocals, um, when it comes to the verses, are a little bit low. I think the vocals on the hook, though, were just fine with the way that they are, especially because you got that, that higher register, you know what I'm saying? And plus... It, yeah, and the volume on that also felt like it was a little bit louder as well. And then the hook, it, to me, it's another another thing too. I'm not a fan of that hook. It sounded way too big, basic. You know that color me bad, color me bad. It's too basic. You know what I mean? And I know, I know you can do better than this, brother. I know you can. Like I said, I've heard you on far superior tracks. You know what I mean? So I know what you're capable of, my guy. Um. And, and again, going back to the mix, I feel like it's a little bit cloudy too. You know what I mean? That mix is not that clean. And again, I don't know if he switched engineers or if he tried to mix it himself. But um, definitely not one of his best. But hey, this is only the first track off of this new album that he just dropped. Hopefully it gets better from here. We'll know once we get into uh, the rest of the uh, song list. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <clears throat> All right, y'all. If y'all are feeling this, however, and you guys want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted, hey, first off, more power to you, you know what I'm saying? There's no right or wrong, you know, when it comes to uh, taste in music, you know, music very subjective, as always. So, uh, yeah, you guys are more than welcome to hit up that link that will be provided in the description down below. Show some love to the homie Jewel. Um, the song right now, as it currently sits, as of the time of this recording, has 63 views and it only has 6 likes. So, uh yeah I'll, I'll you know i'll give it another like out of out of love out of respect out of support you know what i'm saying because uh you know i want i want my man to keep on going keep doing his thing you know what i'm saying so yeah y'all don't forget to check out uh all the other links in the description down below that'd be greatly appreciated like comment subscribe share all that good stuff help support the channel guys we are three subs away from 58 hundo thank you to everybody who just subscribed who are just now joining appreciate that and uh yeah so the next one, y'all bless one. All right, peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? 
and just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JT, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Bass. I just want to have the next new one on the street. Who's saying what's up, JV? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm not going to be too happy. I'm not expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time.